Hey YouTube, I'm Mike the Rambling He Witch. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about Beltane. I'm really excited because it's like one of my most favorite holidays on the pagan calendar. So Beltane, also known as Beltana or May Day, falls between the spring equinox and the summer solstice. It's the time of the year when the earth is fertile and the, everything's blooming and things are coming to life again. It's usually celebrated on May 1st, but some people also celebrate it on April 31st. In Wiccan mythology, Beltane is the time of the year when the god and goddess get married. They step into their aspects of the mother goddess and the father god and they, uh, Get busy, you know, va 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 boom. Because of this, Beltane is a time of life and sexuality and love and beauty. Beltane is also a very popular time for Fae or nature spirits. If Samhain or Halloween is the holiday of death when ghosts come out to play, Beltane is the holiday of life when the fairies come out to play. So let's talk a little bit about the history of Beltane. So Beltane was originally celebrated by the Celts. In the ancient Celtic calendar, uh, they didn't have spring or autumn. They only had summer and winter. Beltane was the mark of the very beginning of summer. It's when we fully stepped into the light half of the year. To celebrate, people would light bonfires or bale fires in honor of the sun god, Bel, and to kind of welcome in the warmer months that were ahead. The Celtics would ward off infertility and illness in their livestock by walking cattle through two bonfires. They would walk them right in the middle. Uh, people would also ward off infertility and illness from themselves by leaping over a bonfire. One of the most iconic aspects of Beltane is the maypole. The maypole is a huge symbol of sexuality. You're basically taking a wooden pole, a big phallic symbol, and uh, you're taking the pole and sticking it in a hole in the ground. Putting the pole in the hole. And what people would do was they would take the ribbons around this big symbol of fertility and sexuality and they would dance all around it, intertwining the ribbons until they were all wrapped up around the pole. If you guys ever done a modern maypole dance, you know how fun it is and how very disorienting it could be. Another tradition of Beltane are oat cakes or bannocks. People would take their stores that were left over from winter and make oat cakes out of them. Uh, she usually share them around fires that they lit and then at the end they would always toss one of these oat cakes into the fire as kind of an offering to the summer. So there are a bunch of deities that are associated with Beltane. So first you have Bel who's the Celtic god of fire and the sun and magic and healing. I mentioned him before. The whole holiday of Beltane is named after him. Some people believe that it started out as a holiday purely in his honor. Then you have the Green Man and the May Queen, who are still very popular during May Day celebrations over in the English Isle. A lot of people like to celebrate May Day by having a guy dress up as the Green Man and a girl dress up as the May Queen, and then they reenact a wedding symbolizing the union of these two fertility gods. The ancient Romans had a holiday called Floralia, which is very similar to Beltane. It was a fertility holiday, which was in honor of the goddess Flora, the goddess of flowers and springtime. Also honored during Floralia, but to a further extent, was Bacchus, who was the Roman god of wine and revelry. Other deities that you can honor on Beltane are the Aztec god and goddess Xochipilli and Maya Huel. Now, Xochipilli was the god of flowers and love, pleasure, and art. Maya Well was his wife in some myths, and she was the goddess of fertility and alcohol. They also had a festival that was similar to Beltane, called the Festival of Flowers. And it was another holiday filled with sex and art and dancing and music and just like a week's worth of drinking. So if this holiday is sounding appealing to you and you're interested in taking part, don't worry, there are plenty of ways you can get in on the action. So one way you can celebrate Beltane is by baking your own Beltane oatcakes. 
I'm gonna leave a link to a recipe in the description box below or you can do what I do and just buy your own Beltane oatmeal cookies at the grocery store. Another way to celebrate Beltane is by planting seeds in your garden. When you plant the seeds, they can represent the fertility of the god and the goddess in love as they sprout and turn into springtime, summertime flowers. You can also celebrate with a maypole. Now, I know not everybody has the ability to construct a full-size maypole in their backyard. However, hope is not lost. So I'm gonna show you how to make a mini maypole to put out on either your altar or just to keep as decoration in your house. Okay folks, so this is how you're going to make your own mini maypole. Uh, all this stuff I got from my local craft store. I went to Michael's, but I'm sure you could also go to a Hobby Lobby or like I said, any craft store, any art store that's in your vicinity. Uh, so first I got a wooden dowel rod. This one's about 12 inches. Uh, I also got these hardware pins, these hardware tacks for like leather working and for clothes design. If you can't find these, you could use a strong thumbtack just as well. I also got dry foam or floral styrofoam. Uh, this is for putting plastic flowers in. If you can't find this at your local craft store, you could probably find it at a florist's. You're also going to want ribbons. Uh, I recommend three different colored ribbons. I chose yellow, pink, and a bluish green because these are all great Beltane colors. You're also going to want some decorative faux flowers, but these are really optional. It's up to you. And then you're going to want scissors. So first, we start by taking the dry foam. And then we're going to push the dowel rod right into the center, creating a nice hole. This is going to be the maypole's base. Next you're going to measure out your ribbon and cut it. I recommend that your ribbon be twice the length of your dowel rod. Now once you have all your different colored ribbons about the same length, take your dowel rod and you're going to take one of your you know your thumbtack or your hardware tack and you are going to place the ribbon over the top of the dowel rod okay so once you have your ribbons layered on top of each other on the top you're going to take the thumbtack and just press it down in the middle. It is wood, so you are going to need a little bit of strength, but once you firmly have the tack down on the top of the rod, you will have a beautiful ribbon type baton, right? So now we're going to stick the maypole into its base. And next, we're going to take our plastic flowers and cut them one by one. And now that we have our flowers, we're just gonna stick them into the base. You have your maypole. So that's how you make a super easy, super quick mini maypole. Uh, if you want to add more magic to it, what you could do is write your intentions on the ribbon. Then on the actual day of Beltane, you can wrap the ribbons all around the maypole, intertwining them, and working a form of knot magic. Remember, whether 20 feet high or 12 inches long, it's not the size of the phallic symbol, it's what you do with it. Even if you decide to go without a maypole altogether, it's still encouraged to celebrate Beltane by singing and dancing. Put together a playlist that reminds you of love and passion. Turn up the tunes in your house or in your backyard. Shake what the Lord and Lady gave you. If it isn't about anything else, Beltane is about letting loose and having fun. Today, a lot of Wiccans like to incorporate the Great Rite into their Beltane celebrations. The Great Rite is a term we use to refer to ritual sex with, whether it's symbolic or literal. Now usually, especially in group setting, the Great Rite is symbolic. A priest or priestess will take the chalice to represent the womb of the goddess and the athame 
to represent the phallus of the god. In ceremony, they will bring the two tools together, plunging the athame into the chalice, the masculine and the feminine meeting and joining as one. Now, not every great rite is symbolic. Sometimes it's literal. If you have a romantic partner who celebrates Wicca and the Wheel of the Year with you, you do have the option to commit some of your time of your celebration to being intimate with each other. It doesn't have to be heterosexual or cisgendered sex either with a womb and a phallus. The act of love making itself is a potent symbol for the union of the divine. Let's not forget about the fae spirits that are working hard to make your garden bloom. Beltane is a great time to connect with and show appreciation for the fae by leaving them little gifts. These can be crystals, uh, honey, cake, cream. They love that stuff. Just be sure that you specifically acknowledge the friendly fae in your area. Just like with humans, you don't want to open up your living space to strangers that you don't know too much about. So if you're like me and you like to watch movies on holidays to kind of get you in the mood, then I have a couple of movies I'm going to recommend for you to watch on Beltane. First movie I'm going to recommend is very family friendly. It's called Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest. You probably have already heard of it, but if you haven't, it's an animated movie about the fae spirits and what they do to protect nature. The next movie is geared a little bit more towards teenagers, especially LGBT teenagers. It's called Were the World Mine. It's a musical about a boy who is bullied for being gay and how he turns things around when he finds a recipe for a love potion in Shakespeare's Midsummer's Night Dream. The next movie I'm going to recommend more for mature audiences is The Witches of Eastwick with Michelle Pfeiffer, Susan Sarandon, Cher, and Jack Nicholson. I just love this movie for Beltane because it's about a group of witches, a group of powerful women coming together and owning their sexualities and their own abilities despite what anyone else says or thinks. Finally, let's talk about Beltane magic. Any spells that have to do with the themes of Beltane are incredibly amplified on this day. So we're talking spells for love and fertility and sexuality and beauty. It's also a good day to cast spells just to attract anything that brings you passion in your life. We're not just talking about romantic passion, we're also talking about creative passion or passion for your career or passion for your hobbies. So that's it for my Beltane video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got a lot of good ideas for what you can do to celebrate this Beltane. If you liked this video, feel free to like and subscribe. And also feel free to comment if you have your own way of celebrating Beltane, your own traditions that you like to do every year. I'd love to hear about them, and I'm sure everyone else would, so be sure to comment them in the comment section below. Thank you everybody, happy Beltane, and blessed be.